my EMA here on the end of week 9 of 16 for my marathon training plan. So this week I was supposed to run on Monday 4 miles, then on Tuesday rest, Wednesday 7 miles, Thursday 4 miles, rest on Friday, and today I was supposed to do 16 miles. And I pretty much did everything exactly like I just said with the exception that I decided to not run today, which I'll explain why I'm gonna run my 16 miles tomorrow. So the reason why I decided not to run today is I was not feeling it for my knee. My left knee is just a little tiny bit cranky and I figured another rest day would probably make that crankiness go away. I've got it taped with kinesio tape, which is a really great little support trick that I learned that you can put it on both sides, the inside and the outside, the little knee there and if I feel any pain, um, usually that's just enough to give it some support there um, without having to wear a brace. And also, um, I still add in all my swims. So my swims still happen. I can still usually put in a strength training session. I didn't do that this week. Just didn't happen. Got really very busy. I've also been feeling kind of, if you notice, cold because I think there's something about marathon trainings that just like a vacuum sucks that that like sucks it all off of my body and I'm constantly cold. I run extra heat at night so not only is the house heated but I have another space heater that heats right next to me in my sleep because I can't sleep without extra heat. I'm just freezing all the time. So right now I've got three layers of clothing on and I'm still feeling you know somewhat cold a little bit better but I figured if I just give it another day of rest, I'll probably feel even better for tomorrow's longer run. So that will be the longest distance I've done so far, 16. Next week will be 16, then 17, 18, 19, and 20, all in a row um, for each week. And then we'll go into the taper. So I'm right on track. Everything's going actually pretty well. The other exciting piece is that even though I am still losing a tiny bit of weight, it's very hard for me to get nutritionally dense food in my gluten-free and 300 different food allergy diet. Um, but I have discovered that there are some things that I can eat that I didn't think I could, which is I've tried gluten-free steel cut oats, and now I'm going to experiment with making a little energy cookie with things like dried cranberries, slivered almonds, this um, gluten-free steel cut oat, and then trying to hold it together with coconut oil, something that I've been allergic to for probably a good 20 years now. There's a possibility I'm not allergic to it anymore. So I'm gonna do a trial of that and actually just eat a small scoop of it uh, sometime after my long run, see how my stomach handles it and then we'll see from there if I can make these little energy cookies for me to eat because I'm telling you, honey stingers after the second hour just do not taste very attractive to me. I will eat anything. I will even eat bacon and eggs and anything that I can cram into rice and seaweed wrap and carry that with me. I'd rather carry that food than to take another swig out of my honey stinger little gel flask because that hit of super sweet honey after the second hour just is not doing it for me. So hopefully that will stop some of the weight loss. The weight loss is very, very tiny, but I still feel very, very strong. This is not the insidious weight loss that I was having before when switching to this diet for my health needs. It's really actually helped a lot to be on a gluten-free diet. It's, it's day and night difference. but that being said, I have to find some other substitutes of things I can eat. So that's where I'm at with that. Everything's working really, really well. I'm still excited about running and still excited about doing my first marathon. So woot, I'll just keep going.